These games are ranked by PlayScore, a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. Opening our list of modern AAA games on the PC is Forza Horizon 3. Microsoft's frontrunner to the racing scene gets to shine with bright lights in this third installment of the Horizon franchise. It is also the ninth entry to the overall Forza series. It's a Microsoft exclusive that's available to play on the Xbox One and of course the PC. Set in the beautiful Australian region, enjoy its attention to detail in a lush open world environment. Its world is twice the size of its previous installment and it features over 350 cars. Strap yourself in its multiplayer mode where you play with up to four of your friends with co-op or online play. Cross-platform supported. Critics have praised this game for being so dynamic and full of content, worthy of the price you pay. It's a one-of-a-kind racing game and it has a play score of 8.49. 24 is Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Like the proverbial zombies of the franchise, Capcom's flagship horror title rises back to life after a four-year hiatus. But this time, it's not zombies chasing you around. Step inside a Louisiana mansion and search for your missing wife. And of course, meet the lovely Baker family ready to serve you with a dose of murderous hospitality. The introduction of first-person mode heightens the scares. It'll be a new experience in horrific terrors that's more than just the usual jump scares. Welcome yourself to the family and witness Capcom's sinister return to form. It has a play score of 8.53. 23rd is Hellblade Senua's Sacrifice, one of our most recent entries. Prepare for a jaw-dropping indie AAA experience from the creators of the Devil May Cry reboot. With their team of 15 people, Ninja Theory has managed to wow critics and gamers alike, receiving high marks on many review platforms. Venture to the depths of the underworld and help its ailing protagonist fulfill a personal journey to the land of the Northmen. Senua's quest for answers is made even more interesting as she struggles with the pains of a necrotic arm and her bouts of haunting psychosis. With its binaural audio to simulate her madness, impeccable visual design and compelling story, Hellblade is a landmark in emotional and sensory experience. It has a play score of 8.53. 22nd is Prey, the latest in Bethesda's long lineup of action RPGs. Arcane Studios finally escapes from development hell to bring us a stellar retelling of the popular Prey franchise. Set in an alternate universe, play as Morgan Yu as he joins the research team of Talos One, and unwittingly signs himself up to a battle against hostile aliens. With unique weapons and his newfound supernatural abilities, help him escape his gruesome fate and find his way out of the facility. Developed by the same team that brought us Dishonored, Prey is sure to wow hardcore FPS fans. It has a play score of 8.59. 21st is StarCraft II Legacy of the Void, the first Blizzard game on our list. A standalone expansion to their award-winning classic, this was the crown jewel of real-time strategy games. It opened new doors to the genre, spawning numerous games that take inspiration to their well-loved complexities. In this expansion, its main focus is the game's new storyline and a casual experience for non-competitive players. Taking notes from their original's concerns, the co-op mode was a pleasant surprise for those who don't want to play the game alone. Aside from that, new units and a strong campaign really takes this game to a whole new level despite its 8 years of longevity. It receives a play score of 8.60. 20th is Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. While not the latest Assassin's Creed game, Black Flag seems to have benefited from its sharp steer away from the cliches of the Mother franchise. Dive into a tale rooted in the golden age of piracy and embark in the excitements of naval misadventures. Sail through the seas with your hardy crew of pirates as you sing songs of old tales and watch towering ships become flotsam against your barrage of cannons. Compared to the memorable naval warfare and ship improvements, the AC components might sometimes feel like a nuisance to your grand affairs. But overall, it's still the best in the series so far. Reunite with your loyal crew and sing along to their beautiful sea shanties. It has a play score of 8.6. 19 is Tales of Berseria, the 16th main installment of the acclaimed Tales series. Berseria steps away from their usual jolliness of the series as they take you on a mission for vengeance in the world of desolation. Somewhat a prequel to Dysteria, 
follow Velvet Crow and her party of misfits brought together by their struggles and goals. Released a year after Zysteria, this title offers a host of new improvements on combat, frame rates, and hotkeys. Generic environment and backtracking locations aside, Berseria provides an emotional experience with its storytelling and lovable characters. It has a play score of 8.61. 18 is Overwatch. Rising from the mistakes of their last MMO FPS attempt, Titan, Blizzard has struck gold with the latest IP in almost two decades. It revolutionized the team FPS genre, forming the perfect balance of style and substance, and creating a perfect heaven for both newbies and veterans. Even with just 25 characters, the game manages to offer a striking diversity. Explore each of their strengths and find the perfect synergies as you dive into a randomized maps to escort payloads, assault attackers, and take control points. For an FPS douse in fun and fast-paced action, it offers a fair amount of layered strategic nuances that make it all the better. Winning last year's Game of the Year, it receives a play score of 8.65. 17 is Saints Row 4. Deep Silver's open-world action adventure returns for the fourth title, packed with more hilarious parodies and godlike fun. The world is your playground as you return as the badass Saints boss, ready for more over-the-top action. But this time, the street gang leader has made his way to the White House, gaining newfound super abilities and battling against an alien invasion. Their new premise opens up a whole new world of possibilities. Whether you want to stick to the story or mess about in super speed races or climbing around alien towers, there's nothing standing in your way. With its trademark hilarity combined with the superpower liberties, Saints Row 4 receives a play score of 8.68. 16 is Grand Theft Auto 5. Rockstar's latest entry to their Grand Theft Auto series is packed to the brim with new features that fill Los Santos with more mayhem and excitement. Despite being released in 2013, it has remained an all-time favorite among fans of the franchise. Its introduction of three new characters have played a central part in the title's innovations. Switch between Michael, Trevor, and Franklin as they go about their dysfunctional lives in decidedly criminal fashion. And keeping up with the outrageous freedom of the franchise, let go of all your social inhibitions and do whatever the hell you want. Punch old ladies, visit the strip club, play a round of golf, or just blow things up. Polished and still wildly entertaining. It receives a play score of 8.69. 15 is Far Cry 3. For the third installment of the iconic FPS, Far Cry has pulled all the stops, pumping up the volume on its open world elements and giving us a story to remember. Take on the shoes of the licensed pilot Jason Brody as his vacation in paradise becomes an eye-opening battle against a psychopathic villain. Roam around lush landscapes and take in the sights of its gorgeous island as you prepare for the sickening violence to come. Raid bases, hang glide above forests, and enjoy its exhilarating first-person adventure. It has a play score of 8.7. 14 is Dark Souls 2. This third and final installment of the Souls franchise is the perfect send-off for the series. Scholar of the First Sin was the proving ground for the future of From Software's games, and with this installment, it sets the bar high with its fast-paced action and improved visuals. Get ready for more unmitigated chaos as you fight against huge bosses and struggle through its unbalanced game design. Ending the series as we know it, Dark Souls 2 caps it all off with enemies and locations that bear witness its deep and intricate lore. It has a play score of 8.7. 13 is Doom. Get ready for an adrenaline-pumping shoot-fest with id Software's revival of the classic Doom. While it sheds off its pixelated past, Doom's high-definition comeback opens it up to a new level of action, gore, and bloody bloody executions. Follow him as he ventures to the infected planet of Mars. Use your wide array of futuristic weapons and watch those poor demons squeal in terror as you tear them apart, limb by vicious limb. Packed by a brand new multiplayer mode, it pales in comparison to the grandeur of its satisfying single-player campaign. It has a play score of 8.72. 12 is Bayonetta, Dante's long-lost sister, probably. Recently released on the PC, this hack-and-slash adventure improves on all fronts due to its smooth optimization to the said platform. 
With smooth 60 frames per second and 4K support, what's not to love about our favorite witch? After awakening from her mysterious slumber, step into Bayonetta's heels as she faces off angels and creatures in the modern world. Gameplay is similar to Capcom's Devil May Cry series, take down enemies with your slender legs, silky smooth hair, and stunning looks. It receives a play score of 8.74. 11 is Dirt Rally, an authentic rally game and possibly to date. Dirt Rally puts you on a driver's seat of powerful cars as you steer your way through its unforgiving terrain. Forge through deadly ravines on snow-capped hills and brace yourself for steep dives to the countryside. It's a rally enthusiast's dream with smooth resolutions and lush graphics. You can almost feel the wind and mud blowing through your hair. And with its challenging courses, it has responsive controls to help you drive through the madness. No casuals allowed. It has a play score of 8.74. Tenth place is Middle Earth Shadow of Mordor, the only good LOTR game released during this generation. With Shadow of War coming this October, let's return to the game that started it all. Not really canon, witness an unwritten story about a ranger seeking revenge from the men responsible for his family's death. Before there was Frodo and Sam, there was Talion and Celebrimbor. Two different beings with one goal, stop Sauron. This hack and slash game dazzles us with fast paced combat and slick brutal animations. Shift seamlessly into wraith mode with Celebrimbor's abilities or go on a rampage while riding a Karagor. It was well received due to its surprisingly addictive gameplay and its unique nemesis system. However, it suffered from its weak story. It has a play score of 8.76. Ninth place is Devil May Cry. Capcom's well-loved franchise just had a massive makeover. No longer their development concern, Ninja Theory steps into the pedestal to take over Dante's radical hack and slash adventure. This reboot kicks off with the brand new and seemingly weirder Dante. No longer a half-demon, half-human, he's now a Nephilim a creature born with demonic and angelic abilities. With this new change, travel to Limbo and unleash the power of blue and light with your movesets. Similar to the previous titles, the combo rating system makes a return and not to mention the new badass weapons fitting for a guy like Dante. Also having a sweet over is of course, Dante's twin brother Virgil. Together they team up to stop the evil Mundus from taking their city apart. Despite its mixed reception about Dante, it still receives a play score of 8.78. Eighth place is Tomb Raider. Crystal Dynamics' reboot, the legendary female spelunker, takes us to her salad days. Join Lara and her hardy crew of researchers as they get marooned by the gods to an uncharted island in the Devil's Triangle. Veering away from its polygonal visuals, witness the power of their very own graphics engine that reshapes Lara Croft to perfection. Just like the classics, use Lara's explorer skills to survive against the hostile inhabitants of the island. Use your gun, bow and arrow, or engage in fisticuffs with the local fauna. The game is lauded for its lush semi-open world, insane visuals, and thrilling set pieces. However, some gamers are calling it a female Uncharted. But that's a story for another time. It receives a play score of 8.81. Seventh place is Dota 2. Making its humble beginnings as a Warcraft mod, Valve won the rights to the forefather of the MOBA genre from under Blizzard's nose, and the rest, as they say, is history. Working with the game's pioneering designers, this sequel is a vast improvement with overhauled graphics, improved UI, and remodeled heroes. It looks fresh, vibrant, and endlessly inviting. But looks aside, Dota 2 is one of the most punishing yet rewarding experiences out there with its lineup of continually balanced heroes and deep strategic mechanics. It's complex, but once you learn the ropes, you'll learn that it's addictingly worthwhile. It has a play score of 8.83. Sixth place is South Park The Stick of Truth. Trey Parker and Matt Stone's comedic monster reaches the video game industry. What could possibly go wrong? Censorship issues aside, this turn-based RPG from Ubisoft takes you to a fart-bending, fantasy adventure in the quiet little town of South Park, Colorado. Customize your own kid and be one of the boys to protect the fabled Stick of Truth, a regular wooden stick that holds no mystical power. Friendships will be tested as you embark on a perilous adventure filled with anal jokes and bite-sized maturity. 
it receives a play score of 8.97. Fifth place is Borderlands 2. The irreverent cel-shaded FPS welcomes you back to the steampunk world of Pandora. And if you thought the first one was an epic success, then their second title is a worthy surprise. It walked the series into the genre's Hall of Fame. Fixing the mistakes of the original and improving on all fronts, Borderlands 2 comes back with a whole new story, upgraded class system, and a whole array of exciting random generated loot. To top it all off, its dark and gritty narratives provides a fitting backdrop to its signature humor, garnering critical praise, a market success, and a Game of the Year award. It has a play score of 9.05. Fourth place is Metal Gear Solid 5: The Phantom Pain. Snake returns with a horn on his head and a lust for revenge. After the events of Peace Walker, follow his quest for bloody vengeance against the mysterious Skullface. With a revolutionary emergent gameplay, roam around three distinct open world locations and test your tactical espionage skills. Choose your style and decide between full-on stealth or bamboozling fun. Hideo Kojima's final Metal Gear game has its fair share of mixed reviews. Although it scored numerous perfect tens and ultimately given a Game of the Year title, it feels like an unfinished entry. You feel it too, don't you? Nevertheless, it's good and it has a play score of 9.13. Third place is Dishonored. When it comes to the ultimate stealth experience, it has to be Arcane Studios' first person adventure. With its sequel on the loose with a play score of 7.20, this original truly stands out in comparison. Return to the unlucky shoes of Corvo Atano as he vindicates himself from a false accusation. Experience stealth like never before, with the ability of teleportation, time manipulation, shape shifting, and more. Control the environment as you see fit. Unlike most first person shooters, this game is so open ended you can approach the game with however you see fit. It receives a play score of 9.15. Second place is The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. CD Projekt Red's latest and possibly final entry of the Witcher franchise proves that development budget isn't always a problem. It only had at least $80 million compared to Rockstar's Grand Theft Auto V, which had almost $300 million. You could say it's an example of a AAA title with a minimal budget. By the time the game launched, it gained universal success. Players swooned over Geralt of Rivia's character as he ventures into unknown lands, fighting beasts and banging sorceresses. It's widely praised for its branching story, morally great choices, and a massive open world to explore. It even conquered Poland's economy due to their gigantic sales. It receives a play score of 9.31. And the best AAA game this generation on the PC is Bioshock Infinite. Soar through the skies and enter the floating city where everything is not what you expected. Follow Booker DeWitt, a man caught between a troubled past. He's tasked to search for a woman named Elizabeth in order to repay his gambling debts. This premise sets up their grand adventure together in a mind-bending clusterfuck. Use the power of mysterious vigors or use a variety of American guns to take down enemies. Most importantly, marvel at the glorious skyhook that enables you to swing around Columbia's rails. We might get a few bad feedbacks with this one, but Irrational Games' first-person shooter really did a number in our database. Apart from being one of the best video games of all time, Infinite won the many hearts of this generation with its fantastic storytelling, feverish combat, and a gorgeous city of Columbia to discover. There's always a man, a lighthouse, a city, and a play score of 9.32.